so here is the DRO it's from EMS I uh, thoroughly recommend them you've seen me in the other videos so I'm going to use the smooth R function today and show you how that works so I'm just going to press enter to clear the welcome screen and you can see I've got X and Y um, set to zero which is the where the center of the uh, the, the axis of the machine is where I want it over the center of the radius so you can alter the menu systems on on this DRO to, to your suiting so in my case uh, F3 is a smooth R function so I'm just going to press F3 and you can store up to four programs like the PCD and the PLD function um, so number one was a quadrant um, I'll show you that, I did it on the, end of the other end of this bar. Uh, saved all the details, I can recall it any time, and I can save up to four menu options. That's uh, four program options. So I'm going to go to number two, I've, I've already set it, this is going to, I've called it semi, as you can see there, and um, because it's a semicircle, fairly obvious. Um, the plane uh, is XY, because I'm just working in XY, I could work in XZ or I could work in YZ, um, but for the moment um, well, I'll show you the options. So if I go down to plain XY, I can change it um, by pressing F6. So I can have YZ, uh, there's YZ, XY, XZ. So I'm going to use XY. Just go back. So X Y is set. Uh, center position because it's I've positioned the cutter over the center. I can use zero zero. I could actually touch on on the edge and then put an offset in there, but I've just found it easier to do it that way for the moment. The diameter of the radius. Go down to the next row. Uh, I've set to 0 0.5 working inches. So it's half an inch uh, diameter that I want to cut. The mode is the diameter plus tool. So it automatically calculates the tool diameter uh, and adds it to the dimensions. Sorry, you tell it the tool dimension and it adds it to the, the diameter measurements that you need. I want to start at the bottom, which is minus 90, and go to the top, which is plus 90. So that gives 180 degrees in total. The, mini the maximum cut is 10 thou. Um, I, can, I could make that bigger. It's not the maximum cut of the machine. It actually gives you the resolution of the curve. So the more, the less you take, the less cut, the better the resolution of the curve. But the more operations that you've got. But ten thou, good compromise for this. And then TL diameter is the tool diameter, which in this case it's a half inch cutter, so I've put the 0.5 in. So once I'm happy with that, I press enter, and um, there's a graphical in interpretation uh, of what we're going to do. So the first thing I have to do is to move X and Y until we get um, to zero. I'm actually already on zero in X. Okay, so the blue circle indicates the cutter, and it's where I want to start with a semicircle. So I'm just going to start the machine, put a cut on, and press the right hand arrow key to go to tool position 2, and it's telling me that I want to move X to um, I'm not worried, we're in two tenths of a foul, I'm not worried about two tenths of a foul. Press the right hand arrow key again to go to the next position. So that tells me why it's got to be going to move it. Zero. Right. 
so that's position three. Position four. So as you can see, I've done 22 um, cuts at the moment. It says at the top, got 80, to, you know, 80 is the maximum. I've done, I've done 22. Um, it's looking good so far. I'll just uh, zoom in and let you see the end of the bar. It's quite difficult, but let's have a look. Can you see we're now getting a radius on the end of there? So I'll just pause the video and uh, get some more cuts. So I'll bring you back in when we're getting around the other side. OK, well we're at position 40, uh, so I'm now starting to go back down the other side. So, next position... I'll bring you back when, I, when I'm nearly, nearly completed. So there we are, final cut. So cut to uh, cut 80, and we're back to zero zero. Just going to stop the machine. Let you have a look at what we've got. So I can focus in on it. And there we are. 
a radius on the end of there. I'll just take it out of the vise and you can have a and then you can have a good look at it. So there we are. Let's see if I can focus in on it better. The radius on the end of the bar is a bit of a dink there, that's because the bar's actually not square, just a bit of scrap I had. And this is the other end that I did as a quadrant. using that program one. So um, there we have it. So that was a, a way of using the smooth R function um, to produce a curve. Now I could have done that on the rotary table, I could have clamped it on there uh, and done it that way. Um, but the advantage of the DRO is that it allows you to combine one curve with another and they don't have to be circular. So we could do ellipses, elliptical shapes and you can merge um, and blend the curves together. So, uh, I mean, it's very much like CNC, except that you've got a manual control um, and not stepper motors driving the handles. But uh, nice bit of kit. Thank you for watching.